first opening sets. So here's Baker. Straight away, they're bringing their outside backs, and here's Pucky. Taken 10 metres out. Tall player. Getting his opportunity on the right wing side as Baker handles here for Satili. So he gets his first touch off this campaign. Didn't play last week. That's Atai at dummy half. And there's a little drop ball. So it's come courtesy of uh, Daniel Smith there, the captain. So he'll be disappointed with that. He was excellent last week. Daniel Smith. He just so threatening with the ball and then can also ball play, can also offload. So that's be a welcome relief for the Wakato side after that early era. Yeah, Smith might be looking to uh, get up into playing Fox uh, Memorial Prems for point share this year. Interesting to see how you go. Bit of depth there at that club, as you well know. Yeah. <laughs> here comes uh, Waikato through Mosa Ati, and now they need to get to their kick here, the Waikato Mana side. And they don't need to because the penalty's been conceded. That's good play from Portman Paul. Had a good game last week. Yeah, good fight up the middle there. They're going to play the ball fast and get his team on a roll. Earn that penalty. And a piggyback as well out of the, their own danger area. So Cowan with that touch finder. And now sadly a walker who's wearing the nine jersey today. Late change has seen him promoted off the interchange into the the hookers roll today with Kyle Koroheke moving to lock for this game. Sadly a walker there at uh, dummy half. And here comes Cyrus Morgan, the centre. Well looked after by Smith and Atai. Or oh, Akarana. It's Kyle Koroheke. A little spread of the ball here to Jaden Lal, another pretty impressive player last week. And that run right there typifies how well he played last week too. And uh, bring down to deck. Thuranga Nive. Now sadly a walker again. Now keep it on the short side. That's Cowan finding a bit of space. And an awkward little bounce. Oh, nicely handled in the end by Gordon Omoroa. And a touch uh, nervous there for Akarana as Liasso comes clear now. Yeah. Did a good job of picking that up and through shoelaces. Gordon Amorua. A little offload back on the inside. Maybe not needed, but got away with it in the end. And there's a nice little surge there from Satelli. Slow play the ball. Too slow for referee O'Brien's liking, so Akarana are going to get a penalty. Yeah, Ken Sadler there. Just testing out our referee, Liam O'Brien. Just seeing how far he could get away with Slowing that play of the ball down. It's worth testing it out this early in the game, but now they know what the standard is. But they have to be disciplined. Well, Satelli already showing out. Some competition for places, as he generally is, for Akarana and Counties Monaco in particular for their for their teams. Here comes Smith. Nice little shift of the ball to Yusefo, one try last week in that big win over the Lakers. Atai, here's Smith again, the ball playing back rower. That's uh, Jules Baker, and into the line comes Gordon Omoroa, and he's over to score. Some nice swerving running there from Nehemiah. Gordon Omoroa, and there is the first try for Akarana. Four points to nil. Just a touch of hesitance and a little bit of discommunication from the Waikato side and lovely little skip to the outside by Gordon Amaroa just weaved his way through Luke Ale couldn't get there in time they opened their account uh, Gordon, the Falcons looking good yeah Gordon Amaroa injured his hand at training last month he was uh, in another highly regarded prospect he actually proved his uh, worth in the squad he one of his teammates recommended him to the coaches and uh, they said well bring him along and they were blown away by how potentially good he was so here he is today yeah. playing so uh, I mean this is what this competition is for unearthing some of that 
un, unknown talent you know, potentially poaching some from our our, our, uh, our brothers over in the rugby department see Omoro has just got that little bandage around his hand there to protect it here he is trying to convert his own try And got the gas that one so it's four points to nil four goal kickers last week to how webster davis honetana and atai and today we're now we've got a fifth goal goal kicker for the akarana side so four points to nil after the first few minutes 35 minute halves if you're watching this game today at uh, this age group yep always good to have options in terms of kickers i would often offer my services would fall on deaf ears how did you feel about that? Did you just not noticed a little bit of edge to that comment there, Wayne? Yeah, to I be mean, fair? it was probably beneficial for the team that didn't kick, to be honest. Yeah. So here's Pucky. So he's on the 20, is Atai. Shifts it to Sartelli once again. Ruck speed, the Akarana team will be looking forward we're looking to get this going again as Josefo from the Mount Albert Lions Club. There's Atai, Ratima. Got one try last week as well. Good strong 5 8 He always takes some stopping. Here's Smith again. Heavily involved again. Late little offload to Josefo. Yeah, Almost uh, shrugging his, his way through. In fact, he is over the 20 now. Look at that. Play the ball speed as Atai Taylor made for him to run. And here comes another try. Nixon Liasso just uh, momentum coming too strong there for Waikato. Nixon Liasso over to score. And it's eight points to nil. Yeah, once again, we, had, we mentioned about Daniel Smith's skills how potent he is at running the ball and the little offload back to his prop and he or Sefa caused the first break people were just getting swatted away by flies and then just on the back of a quick play of the ball and the back pedaling from Waikato meant they just couldn't recover fast enough well Nixon Liasso didn't get on the score sheet last week one of a few Bay Roskill players in here but uh Got some ability in the forwards as well. Can play in the back row. And here he is, just skipping away there from number 14, Nakaya Boynton. And in for the try. Scary thing for Waikato is that Ariki Honetana hasn't touched the ball yet, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. He's on the other wing. And what a superb game he had last week. Three terrific tries from him. Fairly individual tries as well. Yeah. Um, you know, just opportunities that he created for himself and rather than sort of ball movement or structured play. Now that was a good kick that time from Gordon Omoroa and it's 10 points to nil. Looks like he's a, a fairly decent goal kicker as well. So 10 points to nil, point a minute so far. Akarana averaging more than a point a minute last week against Bay of Plenty. So, some big tests uh, coming though for Akarana. It's going to be already looking like there's going to be some terrific contests between the counties in the South Island. Akarana too in there. What, what Jeff Walt will want is some just uh, a committed performance from his team, even though the score could blow out here. Committed performance from his team right the way to the end of the game as Connolly's in there making a tackle there for Wakato. Busy game from him last week. Yosefo. Oh, he's dropped it. Stone cold there. And that is a loose carry. He yeah, may have just been looking to put it back into two hands so he can get an offload away. And as he did, he got spun around that ball came loose. He's a big man, Yosef. He 
He's got good footwork too. It's another one of these damaging ball runs. Of course, Akarana didn't even make the final of the 18s last year. South Island put them to that before they were beaten by Kansi's Monaco in the finals. So these guys now coming into the 20s. Bit of a point to prove. Yeah. So Cowan with the scrum feed. Good chance for Wakato here. They've got a full set inside Akarana's half. What can they make of it? Mosaati off the interchange, starting in the centres in this game today. Here's Jaden Lal. Always makes metres post contact. Useful prospect, this lad. Sadly, a walker at dummy half, and here comes Thuranga Nive once again. Cowan. Again, that little nudge in behind the line, and it's just overcooked that a touch. That's unfortunate for Waikato. Nothing Luke Ale could do there with that kick just being a touch too strong. Yeah, not a bad option. Keep peppering away. Hoping that the uh, the chase will do its job and put pressure on the fullback or on Namorua. For hopefully force an error or maybe come up with some points somewhere. There's a run by Paki now. Hikoirangi. Yes, defensively, this is where Waikato have got to be secure here. Nice footwork again by Gordon Omaroa. That's a good little run. Atai going short side. That's Baker cutting it out. Paki. That was forward. Didn't get called by the referee, though. Here's Akarana over the 30. And Sitele just sitting... Or setting it up, rather. There's Atai again. Now gives it to Smith. Change of direction. As Baker waits the kick. The bounce is just going over the touchline there. So would have liked to have hung that in the end goal to apply a bit more pressure. Bit of defensive there by Waikato. That's what they need to do to maintain that level of consistency in their defence. Now they just got to make sure they get to their kick again here. No errors. Cyrus Morgan. This is Salusi. Second uh, game in a row on the wing. Shrimp. Yeah, nuggety winger. Cowan. Going to cook something up for Lugale. Highly regarded rugby union player as well, and he's going to be the victim there of some foul play, and it's going to be a penalty for the Waikato Mana side. Not sure whether that was a 10 metre infringement or whether the tackle was a little bit high, maybe. Yeah, it looks like a. It's just a little, little, it's a few things for Jeff Morton to think about in this first half in terms of the discipline and a couple of the years. And yeah, look, it is very easy for these young men to understand how I suppose much more of an advantage they have in terms of the quality of personnel on the team but without letting that that quality sort of um, I suppose devalue their uh, their quality of rugby league that they need to play Slal again, good carry from him once again Ooh. Kelly Turanganive absolutely Smash there. He's had a tough start to the game, hasn't he? Here's the other front row, Portman Paul. Kindly good hands from him. Morgan, this is looking better for Salusi. Salusi almost skipping through Parky's tackle. Better play there from Waikato. And Akarana stretch just a touch. Portman Paul involved again. Portman Paul. It's a good little bit of footwork from Paul. Sadly a walker at dummy half. Good hands, Great. nicely picked up by Kaio Koroheke. Now Connolly, Connolly might just take the tackle. No real option to there. He's getting his hands free for a late offload there. There's Cowan's kick. Nicely taken by Hornatana. And Akarana survived. Good set by Waikato though. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, I would have liked to have seen somebody just contest with that kick because Honetana didn't really get off the ground. He sort of caught it 
on his heels. If somebody could have just got up and put some pressure on him and actually taken that ball, that was a lot different. That was a great offload. Well, wasn't it a front run? Tanielu. And there's Juanatana. And now Smith. He is always looking, sniping for those gaps. The ball playing back. Rower. Here's Atai. Here's Smith once more. Baker's given up possession, and Morgan has it. Well, that's good football awareness for Morgan. Cyrus Morgan, he just stayed up there, realised that were offload, got himself in the passing lanes and came up with the ball. It was a good run, but it was also a very good tackle. Um, so Lucy not going far on that occasion. In fact, he went backwards more than he went forwards as Luke Ale just to burrow a few more metres. Yeah. And he's got a, his team a penalty. Good work from the fullback. Lukale, Chiefs development player last year. Experienced in the rugby union game at junior rep level for Waikato. But having a crack at league in this championship. Yes, Daniel, just a little bit late to the party. Waikato have looked keen in the last few minutes. As we see them coming forward again here. This is for Sita. Fast play the ball. Here comes Cowan. Trying to sneak between tackles and Cowan is over. Great try by Tiao Cowan. And that's a good reward for Waikato. I've been terrific in these last five minutes and they're on the board. I look here. To give themselves any chance uh, in this game, whether it's you know, with, whether it's uh, whether the goal is to win or not, uh, but to give them any chance of this game, you know, they're going to have to put pressure on that Akaden of the defensive side, which means limiting their errors and just a couple of repeat repeat sets, catching a couple of those, um, a couple of those big boys around the middle of the ruck when they're a little bit under fatigue, and the little man Dal Cohen comes up with a four pointer for Waikato. I know Akarana will have a little look at themselves there because Daniel Smith, who was the captain of the Akaden the side, he did stand back a little bit and wait. Gave that opportunity to Dal Cohen. Well, Conley's missed the uh, the conversion, so it will remain 10 points to four. Disappointed not to get that one on target. Noah Connolly. But great work here. Once Cowan beat that tackle there of Satelli, the line was open. Yeah, fairly hot day up here in... Southern Tamaki Makoto, Northern Tainui. <laughs> uh, you know, like so, you know, those big boys, if they have to do sort of consecutive tackles uh, over a sort of a, peri a long period of time, then you know, it does get it does get taxing. Yeah, well, if Wakato can keep the energy levels up, more opportunities are probably going to present themselves for them. Jaden Lal again. Yeah, their most impressive forward so far. Here's Paul, another robust runner. Yeah, some good thick bodies. Just pushing their way through the line a little bit, finding their front, hopefully coming up with some quicker play of the balls that can let people like this guy push it up. Looking for a penalty too. Yards. And they get the penalty that time. Yeah, Fasita looks like he could be very useful if he's in open pasture. And everything going Waikato's way at the moment. They're actually executing everything fairly, fairly well at the moment. Yeah, and they, well, one, they need to. One, they need to be consistent with it over 70 minutes of rugby league. Like I say, give themselves any chance. If you can starve Akarana off some ball and make them do tackles, come up with you know, sort of unforced errors like those penalties, then potentially you give yourself an opportunity to do some damage. So Morgan with the first carry, taken there by Marcus Nicholas, who's out there now for Akarana. Here's Paul again, another good carry. See that little shift there? Step there off the right foot. Akarana shifting it. Nice play for Ali. 
Opportunity on this right wing side here for Boynton. Really nice movement. They have just taken that ball on the inside of that front runner, but at this level, it's too hard to tell. Here's Lalu, who's got that ability to take defenders with him. Another good carry from him. That's the goal line right there. Cowan again. If he can offload, he has. And is that a try? It should be a try there for Fosita. Excellent play by Waikato. And again, Cowan to the four right at the end of the movement. Really good execution. Really good execution. Well, they, they took their opportunities when they presented themselves. They set themselves up really well. I love the shift to the right. Um, yeah, the, the, the players running through just asking questions of the back line. They ran out of space, but then they come back to the middle, reset themselves. A little show and go, little stutter step. Two people around the ankles fell off, and he managed to get the offload away for the second try. I tell you who I've been impressed with is Cowan, the seven for Waikato. Didn't play last week, but he's just got a little bit of rugby league IQ in that head. Or in fact, quite a bit of rugby league IQ. He knew exactly what to do here, didn't he? Yeah, look, and he's not the biggest body in the world as well. So he's when he recognises that um, potentially there is, uh, you know, there's an opportunity to take advantage of the defensive line for Akarana. He stepped up. For the, when he crossed over for that first try, there was a couple of tired bodies are in there around that ruck for the second one. Sort of recognised that they were backpedalling a little bit. Got a good ball off his dummy half. Keen Sadler. Well, he's uh, taken over the kicking duties as well. He's gave us, he gave his mate Connolly one opportunity to slot it. Didn't come up with it, so. Well, that's away as well, unfortunately, for Waikato. That could be 12 10 up. Yeah, he's going to have to sack himself now. Exactly. Who's next? 10 points to 8. And away. Waikato have played over these last 12 minutes. They probably deserve to be in front, but they're not. So they've just got to keep plugging away. Well, I'm sure Jeff Morton will be sending out the messages to his boys to you know, what, pick up the intensity while maintaining their discipline. A couple of easy, easy outs for Waikato with penalties and the like. So he'll have to take himself, himself that Luke Ollett. Ooh, a little flop tackle there, but Ratima, but not penalised on that occasion. Now here comes Mosaati. Here's Lal again. He's a handful to bring the deck, isn't he? Yeah, the good thing is, as well, as well for these big prop forwards, is they're weathering that storm. They don't mind taking this, this heavy contact for Makarana. Starting to build some confidence now. Sadly, uh, Walker shrugging defenders away. And here's Cyrus Morgan, who's having a solid game in that left centre position. Uh, when, you, when have you seen the uh, Akarana side sort of backpedalling into their half? Over a set of six. So it's a great way to complete a set after a try. Let's see if they can put some pressure on this kick. Nicely taken by Mosa Ati. It's still there for Ali. Ali, if he can get an offload away, just couldn't quite link up. So it's still the last play here for Waikato. And that might have been knocked on by Akarana. And I reckon Waikato are going to get the ball again. Let's see. It might, might have been a little bit of a, uh, bit of a miskick, that one, in terms of the, the final tackle, but... Came up with a result and was a fantastic take by Mosa Ati. Out there on the right centre. Got a couple of offloads away. Potentially opportunity down that right wing, but ended up coming up with, with a result anyway. I reckon it's been close to 10 minutes since Akarana had the ball. Exactly. And it just shows you what you can do if you can cut errors out of your game. Connolly. Straight away, it's Morgan again. This will be good for Akarana. Really testing their defence. And now here's Luke Ale. Keen as mustard to get involved. Sadly a walker. Here's Fossiati. who got that last try. Rather, Fossita. Five metres out here. 
Kaio Koroheke, Lau. Did well to catch that one. Now here's Cowan again. Out it comes to Mosaati. Just couldn't quite link up with the number 14 near Boynton. And that could have been the third try for Waikato. That was, uh, that was Gaznia like. <laughs> A good little offload. Nice little long ball to take advantage of some space out wide. And a little skip and the flick out the back of the hand. That's that was Mark Asnier all over it. If it had found the mark, they were definitely over for their third try. I love that they're playing football. Yeah. Um, you know, the sort of last couple of sets, that's, they're not as uh, they're not shying away from any contact. They're fighting in the play of the ball, trying to gain some momentum. This could be a little bit of a loss for them, though. Wow, yeah, Jaden Lyle, they won't want to lose him, but he does not look in good shape there, does he? How good has he been? Micah Fale, we just saw there on the screen, he potentially their best player last week. And he was he was fantastic for them. Coming off the bench in, the, in this one, it's uh, probably tells me he, he didn't make training this week. But I'd love to see him back out there again. Once again, very strong player. Yeah, looking forward to seeing him back out there, but this is not good. Jaden Lal, he and Paul McPaul have been carrying the ball really well in these first 27 minutes. Let's check out where the injury actually came from here. That was an initial contact looks something around the forearm, didn't it? Quite potentially there. Yeah, uh, it might have been a shoulder, I think. Shoulder, yeah. It might have been an AC joint. What a blow. This Wanatano has been basically a passenger in the game so far. Yeah, picked it there. He's been playing in a library. He's been very quiet. Get him into the game a bit more as we see Paniello on his own 40. Smith, this is Nicholas. Be disciplined here, Waikato. Nice little offload. Wasn't it? And this is freed up Satelli. Look at the pace from Riley Satelli. Some scrambling there. That's a good tackle from Ali. Those tackles are not easy for fullbacks, but the boil is still on here. Oh, wonderful stepping. And that's a very good try from Makaya Tilianga. And it is a third try there for Akarana. And it is 14 points to wait. That one has come against the runner play big time. Yeah, and it really was started by the offload of Marcus Nicholas. The big kid just turned in the tackle, gave a little pop, a little offload. And then they just kept going down that short side, putting lots of pressure and asking lots of questions of those players on that left edge. The last ball was a special. There you go. Here's the offload. Nice run by Satelli. Broke down there. Backpedaling. It's work at all. And then once again. That was a lovely little ball. That last one. Yeah, great try scored by Makaya Hilianga. He's one of these guys that uh, responded to the call around Christmas time. Some some uh, uh you know a call for a muster and he went along trialed and the coaches loved him you could see some really special things in tell and uh, jeff morton told me the other day he's learning very fast how to play rugby league so here is gordon omoroa with this conversion attempt one from two so far and that one his easiest attempt but he's missed it so it stays 14 points to eight Very good competitive first half. Some good work there from Baker. Kelly Younger going over to score the try on the interchange last week. We're getting the start in the centres today. So just on five minutes to play until half time. Uh, 
Yeah, as tough as it is sometimes when you, you're trying to wrestle some of the size in terms of what Akarame has. And, like they're going to have to try and shut down that ball. they exponents of offloads. Akarame, oh, ball's popped out. This should be play on. Yeah, Davis has lost it. Late chance here for Wakato in the last few minutes of the first half. What happened to Davis there? Just uh, wasn't uh, secure enough with the ball. Sis, Sis Ledger there. Just in the yellow shirt there. Point Chev legend. Akarana legend as well. Getting into coaching now. Does that mean his playing days are over? Just yet, maybe. I wouldn't have said so. Wouldn't thought he so. wouldn't be too far away, but I, th yeah. I think he's still enjoying himself. And he, I mean, he's still definitely at the top of his game. 100%. Now, Ale, assistant coach of the Akarana team, Francis Ledger. Now, let's see if Wakara can get one last try before half time as Fusita. He's going to have to step up now with J Jaden Lale out of the game. There's Paul, good little hands, and Morgan did well to hold that one. Yeah, good More option. A lot of Akarana players around that ruck, so there might be some space out wide. Cowan, play, play, play. not a great pass that time, and Honatana didn't look like Boynton wanted to pick it up, but now it's just a stone-cold drop there from Ariki Honatana. <laughs> Waikato fortunate to get it back, but they'll take it. Yeah, a little bit flat. Unlike the first time they sort of sent that structured play down the right side where they were nice and deep, guys were running lines. The ball was a little bit slow across that first pass and meant that everybody was a little bit too flat on that occasion. But yeah, fortunate to come up with that error. When have done it, it's obviously his, his hands are a little bit cold because he hasn't been involved for so long that yeah. he's dropped the ball. Well, Cowan. Again, he got the first try. Let's see. Oh, great Ooh. football. How about that? That was from Mosa Ati. Sadly, a walker again. Connolly. Oh, that was poor hands that time. That's a disappointment for Waikato to give up that attacking chance in that fashion. Yeah, not entirely sure what the idea was there, whether it was just going to be a simple hit up or it was a plate that was out the back as well. But yeah, really unfortunate for Waikato. Oh, but you got it. So Akarana with the ball here, they'll just be wanting to get to half time here with no errors all security pretty important so he's up there making a tackle he's been busy the number one for Waikato that was his opposite number with that first carry oh he's had a little surge Good tackling in the end there from Boynton and also Cowan finally got Liasso on the deck as Honatana oh, that was here's the error that Akarana were hoping to avoid. Yeah, I could see what the, the thought process was behind that little play. He was hoping to come back to the centre and take advantage down that blind side, but just the execution of the pass in the end, Honitana just a little bit overcooked it. I'm sure Waikato here will just want to grind this down and go into the sheds. Down by six points, and I mean, not many of us would have expected that. Sally Walker again. And now Paul, he's had a fantastic first half. And then that run typifies how good he's been. Yeah, he's caused I don't know, all sorts of problems. That's Ooh. Smith, no arms tackle, says referee O'Brien. And for Cedars bounced out of it. Oh, 10. He was offside. Ah. It was, good, it was good contact just inside the 10. Taking the two points. Yeah, maybe. When they're down 14 8. 
So Ben Swelly. That's going to have to be stronger than that. Just on dip, just on dip. Another last second try. The little error in the play the ball. And then, uh, he's a big man. The apprehension. So it, was a, it was a bit of a lacklustre run, really, and then just poor concentration. Thankfully for Sayuli, that'll be half time. It will, and Akarana will not get a chance to launch another attack from deep within their own half. But a fascinating first half. Based on what we've seen last week, you would have expected a, a maybe a big advantage for Akarana at half time, but it's not to be. Here is the halftime score, three tries to two. It's 14 points to eight. We're back again, yo. It's that super stage. Wow. It's those super dreams and super vibes. Unbelievable. Oh, how good. Super Rugby Pacific, round three, continues today. Oh, I tell you what. It's that Pacific style. Beautiful pass. Where's my super fans at? You know. Welcome to your DHL Super Rugby Pacific Live Sky Sport. You want goals? We've got them. The goals keep on coming. You want insight? Listen to this. They're saying, you know what? We can win this game. There's a lot of people at home that will probably be spitting out their beer. From domestic to international. I urge everyone to get behind us for that one. From the A-League to the Premier League. Magnificent! Get your football fix right here. That is a sign of things to come. Kiwi Football Fix, every Wednesday on Sky Sport. Watch our wahine light up your screens. Huzzah! A glow of game-changing goddesses. Here we go. Headstrong heroine. From this moment, I am going to follow my own opinion. And crew doing the mahi behind the scenes. Holy macaroni. Did you see that? We're leaders. Goal achievers. Look at these women. Telling impossible to take a hike. Changing the world. It's what I was born for. We're changing the landscape of sport. And bringing you more of our stories than ever before. We're building a new world. One woman at a time. So here's to you, loyal fans. Thanks for watching our rise. This is the start of something big. We've proven possible is just the beginning. Championship Series, here we go. Game four, Sunday, live on Sky Sport 1. Half time here at Pukakohi in the CNZRL 20s match for the Ruben Wiki Cup in 2023. Akarana Falcons, 14 points to eight. The game a lot closer than we might have expected after the first half. Three tries to two. Gordon Omaroa, Liasso, and Telianga scoring for Akarana and Waikato's tries coming from Cowan and Fasita. Let's have a look at uh, some of the highlights now with Warangi Kopu. And this is uh, early in the match. Love this little swerving run from Gordon Amoroa. Yeah, it was really early in the match, and we thought that potentially, or well, probably even Akarana, we thought that potentially this is what this is how easy it was going to be throughout the first 35 minutes. But yeah, it was a lovely in and away from Gordon Amoroa. He's been one of their best. This little offload from Daniel Smith, their captain, we mentioned it earlier in the game. How good he is with his uh, with his sort of standing and offloading. On the back of it. it was a nice quick play of the ball and went down the short side and then that was Leasor who crossed over on the left edge for the second try for Akarana. Yeah, they had huge roll on here. This was pretty much from the kickoff after Gordon Omoroa's try and Leasor 
over to give Akarana a 10-0 lead. But from then onwards, it was Wakato's half, wasn't it? Well, they started to build some pressure in terms of you know, completions. They got, got a couple of penalties in their favour. You know, like they, they managed to hold the ball. And, yeah, it was all Wakato. He came up with some, some great football as well. This was the first of the tries, and that was Dal Cohen, who's probably been their best throughout that first 35 minutes. It was a little nice step. And this was a great, this was really well worked try. The whole set was really well, was really well done. The shifts were really good. The setup was really good. The little win on the way and the offload to finish off. And then Rosita crosses over in that left, ear, that left hand side. Yeah, Cowan, been great. Scored that try, created the second one. And a lovely finish coming up here from Tilianga just before half time to just give Akarana a bit of breathing space. Yeah, it was. It was once again, it was off the back of a nice offload you know, by Marcus Nicholas, one of their big boys for Akarana. Got a bit of momentum, got the Waikato side backpedalling. So we couldn't come up with a scrambling defence you know, to stop this try. So, yeah, really good rugby league. I'm sure Jeff Morton will want his team to improve their discipline um, in the second 35 minutes. And I'm sure Eugene um, Davies will be you know, chanting at his boys that, boys, if we can maintain p- position throughout 35 minutes, then we're a chance. So five good tries in the first half. The second half coming up right after this here on Sky Sport. Jurassic World Dominion. Streaming now on Sky Go for Sky Movie subscribers. London. It's a jungle down there. To thrive on these streets is a constant battle. It's a brilliant finish! There are no off days. The error. Three points coming their way. Chelsea now. Arsenal won. And Arsenal win in the North London derby. Someone's always waiting to step up and challenge the hierarchy. Derby day delight! This one's for London pride. This is Fulham versus Arsenal. The championship that delivers it all. Give my soul and I'll take the crown. Not just a try, but almost a spiritual experience. An unbelievable moment. Rugby's greatest championship has delivered. Give my soul and I'll take the crown. Six Nations, live on Sky Sports. I want you to stand up at home because this is what I did last night. Get excited. It's the breakdown. Feed your rugby cravings. I did a daddy dance. Can't you with Every Sunday night. All the banter, it started already. I got the trivia right. I mean, the future's bright for me. Absolutely brilliant. Which is the best seven in the country at the moment, isn't it? Stay amongst the rugby action as our panel analyse the week's best bits and heavy hits. The try is scored. Join the breakdown. Every Sunday, Sky Sport. ODI world number two Aussies take on world number one India. A captivating series in the year of the World Cup. Beautiful shot. Australia Tour of India first ODI starts Friday live Sky Sport 3. This is the ANZ Premiership. The ANZ Premiership this weekend. See it, believe it. Don't take your eyes off this game. This is Netballin. ANZ Premiership, live Sky Sport. We back again, yo. Where's my super fans at? Unbelievable. DHL Super Rugby Pacific. Oh, how good. Live Sky Sport. We are at Pukakoi for Ruben Wiki Cup action for 2023. Thank you for joining us. The NZRL National 20s competition defending champions Akarana Falcons leading Wakatomana at halftime by 14 points to eight. Don't forget this is game one of a double header here today. Coming up at two o'clock this afternoon, we've got Counties Monaco and they're going to be playing the Bay Lakers. They have plenty team. Looking forward to that game. Let's hope they took some positives out of last weekend's game against Akaron. It was, always, it, was a, it was a tough, tough game and a big scoreline in the end. But you know, there was a few individual 
performances that were standouts and if they can potentially find some uh, you know, find some good combinations and do it as a team then they might be able to come up with a result against counties so Cowan restarts second half is underway Akarana with the first possession and it's going to be interesting to see how Akarana respond it hasn't been a dominant first half from them Carlos Davis with the first uh, handle there and now we have Tanielu getting his opportunity in the second row today on the interchange last week so Jeff Morton choosing to rest quite a few players who played very well last week yeah, we heard him in that uh, pre-game interview just talking about wanting to qualify as many of his players as possible. Well, that was good ruck speed from, from Davis, and this is tailor-made for Dan Smith here. So Akarana got a very good roll on up the middle here. Baker, nice little late nudge. Bouncing ball is tricky, but Ali's got it covered. I think it might have taken that one in a touch, in fact. So that... Ended up being a very good set of six there for Akarana. Yeah, full length of the field set there. Put themselves in position for an attacking kick. And that little thread there was actually perfectly placed just before the try line. Luke Ali had no real option other than to pick it up and run it out. So let's see how Wakato's defence holds up here. Well, critical moment here. In this game as Atai, there's space there for Smith. And Dan Smith goes over to score. Another try for Akarana, the fourth of the game. And, well, Smith wasn't going to miss that opportunity that close to the line. Just that. That inside-outside setup that they had there. Well, questions being asked of whether we got the ball down but mm. our referee Liam O'Brien was on the spot I think he saw that that ball hit the ground in the first instance and then maybe rolled up yeah I think so too that yeah, first look, little looked pretty good didn't it that first little one well you know look at you look at the build of someone like Dan Smith and you think he's just going to be a nice hard charging player up the middle and that he is but he's got those beautiful little hands and the footwork a bit like Jaden Wellington we, we saw for the South Island last week yep. just giving that extra dimension creating a little bit of uncertainty in the defensive line when you get players in your team yeah I think like for that. this generation as well you can sort of, sort of put that down to like the examples of Jason Domololo who came along and wasn't that sort of classic mold of prop forward who just went straight up the guts and tried to barrel people you know he actually try to create a little bit of space for himself you know, there is a there is a time and place for uh, that up the guts style of run but you know if you're a, a, a forward who can just put a little bit of uh, agility on late at the line you know push your way through you, know, you, you look to sort of create a fast play the ball get some momentum for your team and um, yeah, that's probably more important than just barreling somebody out of the way in some instances or trying to beat your chest through the middle of the line. So there is the coach, Jeff Morton, hugely experienced. He's been in and around rugby league since the mid-70s as a player and a long-time coach at several clubs in the Auckland competition at uh, the Richmond Rovers. Got to give a shout-out to the Richmond Rovers. Of course, they were that ground that... Uh, oh, we see a little error there, and it's been pinched by Waikato. The ground at Grayland Park absolutely flooded beyond uh, recognition back in late January, and their club took a massive hit, didn't they? Yeah, it was Grayland Pools there for a, for a long time. Grayland Lake. Yeah, man. Um, so, yeah, that no, was um, you know, pretty disappointing for, for not only them, but for you know, everybody who was affected by that amount of water. Uh, but uh, yeah, hopefully that those fields have held up okay. Yeah, 100%. Well, that is good defence. Unfortunately, Waikato just couldn't quite capitalise. Boynton thrown into touch there. Yeah, on that occasion, they just failed to hold up those inside defenders in order to give themselves the right to sort of shift it out to their winger. 
bit of a mismatch in terms of size out there. So, so here's Akarana. We're looking to make another statement early in the second half. Onatana on the 30. Akarana looking keener than perhaps they were in the first half. The Takaire Nielsen, who with that carry. A little offload to Atai. Nice little shift there from Carlos Davis again. Good hands, good run. Fox Memorial player in the Premier Division for Bay Roskill last year. Whoops, confusion there between Ali and also Salusi. But in the end, Ali got the ball. Yeah, confident take from Ali. That's a nice little run from Salusi. Cowan waits at dummy half. Pass wasn't flash. In fact, it was a real bummer of a pass, wasn't Ali? Maybe slightly obscured by the player inside him as well, who was Mosa Ate. Yeah, I mean, that was the intended player. The pass just fell low, and then Ali came up with... He well, got surprised by that ball. Not doing themselves any favours the moment big chance here for for Akarana Jules Baker with the scrum feed coach Morton is versatility by playing in the halves for Atama and to tackle one on Tani Elu wasn't it well, there's Ratama again Luke Ali up to the task Daniello again down to the 10 so Wakato really got to be good with their with their tackling here cool surge there from Kaide Nielsen and Atai is held up good tackling there from or the Waikato defenders. Smith. Oh, lovely little play there from Gordon Amaroy. He was so fast, he ran out of shot. And that's a good try. Good little late offload as well. And that was very good finish there, I think, from Paki, who went over to score it. We'll get confirmation in the moment. Might have even been Te Langa in for his second. It was very good play by those Akarana outside backs. Yeah, indeed. I mean, the, the ball out the back, he took it right to the line. He copped a shot for it. And that's what you do as a good half. You create opportunities for the people outside you. In that case, it was a nice ball out the back. Just get confirmation on who exactly scored that try. Might have been, yeah, it looks like it's Dele Engel. Here it is again. Well, watch the injection here of the fullback. Oh, yeah, it was lovely. And it was Talianga going over to score. Gordon Omoroa. Looking well good, isn't he? I mean, that, that was a real well executed play. That combination of, you know, the prop forward holding up that middle players out the back to Jules Baker. Jules Baker onto Gordon Omoroa and then you know, finishing as he should do. Talianga picks up the offload for the second try in the second half. So two from five from the kicking tee is Gordon Omoroa, but he created that try there superbly. Scored one himself, remember, in the first half. So 24 points to eight. The score will remain. Davis is in the team too. He kicked three from four last week, but not required so far today with the goal kicking duties. 14 points to wait. So 10 nil it is to the Falcons in the second half so far. With 25 minutes to play. Here's the try scorer, Tilianga, who got a second. Only 
bench half now. Here's Smith once more. The captain. Sami on at dummy half now for Akarana. And Akarana getting good roll on up the middle now, Warangi. It's uh, these big forwards that Akarana have are getting more dominance in the second half now as Ratama. Late offload is a good one. And here comes Sami. Just couldn't quite link up with Gordon Omaroa. The intent was there, though. Could have linked up there. That could have been sensational. Yeah, well, it's exactly what Jeff Morton asked for on the that pre-game interview before the game giving themselves an opportunity to go wide by you know driving up that middle knocking down that front door and those big boys are doing a very good job of putting Waikato on the back foot and they're all tall and athletic so just a slight injury there causing play for Carlos Davis Back rower. Waikato coach Eugene Davis. And would want to see his team continue to play out this game after a really good end to the first half. Don't forget at 2 o'clock we have our double header. Second game of the double header today between Counties Monaco and Bay of Plenty. Counties victorious last week over Wellington Orcas. Bay of Plenty looking to bounce back after a heavy defeat to Akarana. Wakato. Fale is out there now, wearing 15. Very promising player. And young two still at uh, school is Micah Fale. Now here's Sueli again. Now taking the carry. He's a big body. He is a big so body. Really just, if he pitch, picks up that pace a little bit. As he carries that ball, he's going to do a lot of damage. 100%. There's Morgan's run. Is that Jaden Lau back out there? It is. Oh, that's Sean Courage. It looked like he was gone for the game after clutching that shoulder or arm in that first half, but he's been cleared to get back out. There's Cowan. Looks like he's got a spiral bomb on him. This will be interesting for the fullback. Oh, got it on his fingertips. He yeah. can't do anything wrong today, Gordon Omaroa. Took that really well. Buoyed a little bit by the injection of Michael Foley on Waikato's side. Just that line speed pace is starting to pick up a little bit. Akarana continue to boil away through Sami and now Baker. Oh, he's lost it into touch. Good scragging tackle there from Salusi for Waikato, and he's earned his team scrum feed 40 metres out. He just tried to get on the outside of the winger, and he was a little bit too big, a little bit too strong. So Lucy scragged him in the end. Well, no scrum feed it was. In fact, it was the last play, so it's just a straight hand over here. I actually think it might be straight play the balls regardless. OK. If the, if the ball travels out. No need for a scrum anymore. Ah, it's a, those new rules that are uh, trying to pick the pace of the game up. Fair enough, too. How good has Paul and Paul been? Here's look at all the defenders here, tracks. Cowan. Cowan going to take it on. Nice option, just keeping the opposition guessing. At that time, Akarana were up to, up to the task. As we see Waikato come down to the 20. Paul. He's going to keep the ball in hand, but again, he's a good runner of the football. Last play now for Waikato. Cowan's kick. Is he overcooked that one? Oh, I don't think so. I reckon they've scored it. A great chase there from Tahere Kaio Koko Koroheke. 
And that's a really good try for Waikato, their third of the game. Really nice. He did look like he overcooked it a little bit. It was a little bit too much. A little bit too much weight on that, that little kick, but the that bar, that banana kick back on the inside. Kaiyo Korohake. So on the spot, and that was a great put down. We saw, we saw a good one last week as well in the Wellington Orcas game. This one is probably just as good. Just about to bounce away from him, and he got it down in the end. Well, of course, uh, Waikato missing their captain from last week. Tupo uh, not playing today. So that caused a, caused a late reshuffle. We saw Kaya Korohike come back to lock. I mean, the hooker last week. And that was great chase from him. Time just run to perfection, too. So here's Lukali. And Tupo was terrific last week. Third kicker for the day, I guess. It. Yeah. Tal Cohen sacked himself. So Lukali gets the easiest of the attempts, but. Puts him within 10. Well, nice response, too, from Waikato. Game really threatened to get away from them. Perfect kick in the end. Well, the, the ones that are like Talco and, and Luke Ali, you know, those ones, they've really benefited from you know, the work that Portman Paul and uh, yeah, Jaden Lau. Sita, yeah, yeah. Jaden Lau have done up the middle, just creating you know, a little bit more space in terms of bending the line back. Well, I think Kiawan too has done a made a huge difference in the halves too. Here's Jaden Lau winding up. I like this lad. Good player. It's not too, you know, look, he's a big body. I run it straight back at the big ones like Smith and Satelli. Just run it straight back at the halfback, George Baker. Here's Portman Paul. Oh, Portman Paul gets rid of one defender. Good run from Fale just performs. So that's three good carries from Waikato in the set so far. Here's Luke Elliott with the next one. And they're over the halfway line. This is a very good set. They ice it with a good play right at the end here. Salia Walker pinches another 10 metres. So they're inside the 30 now. They've marched 70 metres. Now Cowan with the kick. A couple of those players look like they're offside. Oh, nicely taken by Paki. Told he was good under the high ball, and there's evidence of that. Yeah, very nice. Good technique. Climbed over his opposition. Despite the heat he received. And just come up with the ball. And that was a good set by Waikato. You know, completion wise, you know, to Here he goes. Honitana, Here he goes, Honatana. Still looking for that offload. Ariki Honatana. Dangerous runner. Here's Tanielu. Oh, a lovely little move there. And here's Honatana again, bursting through Ariki Honatana. Still shrugging off tackles. Oh, and there's a knock on from Waikato. That should restart the tackle count. That's unlucky there for Waikato. Just came forward off the hands there of Mosa Ati. Ratima. Now Davis. It's going off, it's going off. Davis for Sami. And nice shift, good tackle on Paki by Salusi. He saw that one coming. Alienga shifts it back to Baker. Baker trying to use the upright to his advantage. Didn't quite get the ricochet in the right direction. But that's a very good set there from Akarana. Yeah, yeah indeed. Yeah, and well good, defended. Good scramble from Waikato. I thought there was some, some complaints about the, the offload being forward. But I mean, if that didn't hit the post, he was over for sure. Jules Baker. So it happened that the ricochet ended up in the hands of Keen Sadler. Cowan with the restart. Bounce is critical here. That's gone back. I think Waikato will have it. I've got it back. I'm not sure if he actually, he's actually meant for a short kick, but worked a treat. 
Park just found, through. Just found some space, didn't it? So Lucy, a bonus set here for Waikato. Here's Portman Paul. He has been superb in this game, really good. Yeah, the post contact hit is a, a, probably, probably the highest between both teams. Gonna have, uh, we've got to pick a tournament team, by the way, at the end of this competition too, Warangi. So we're getting some contenders already, even though we're only in round two. Well, Ali's had it stripped out of his hands there, but it's we've been ru ruled a loose carry by referee O'Brien, and it's picked up by Akarana. And Ratima got it. Now Tanielu. Another little offload from him. He's coming into the game really nicely. Now Honatana. Good hands from him. Now it is Gordon Omoroa with his hands on the ball. The fullback. Honatana at dummy half. Ratima. Now Tanielu again. Look for that late offload again, Willie. This time he, he's wrapped up this time. Oh, key moment in the game here for Sami. Sami close to the goal line. Ratima at dummy half. Nice hands there from Takare Nielsen. And here's Satelli. This is looking good for Akarana here. And is that a try? Or has he been held up? No, referee O'Brien says it's a score. And Akarana is clear. It is 28 points to 14, is it? Talianga going over for a third try. Let's just see who scored that one. Looks like it. Just a little bit too much pressure there for Waikato. A couple of repeat sets. Those left side players, Honetana, they're having a little bit of fun out there. Plenty of offloads. That was a great ball, that one. Here, once again, De Leonga crosses over for his third. Good score for Akarana, 28 points to 14 now. And here is Gordon Omoroa. It's his sixth try now in the game. Good effort there from Connolly and also from Mike Kafali just to try and get Talianga onto his back. Talianga good enough to get the ball down. Breeze has proved a little bit tricky for the goal kickers today. And that one too has been taken across the face. So tough day there for Akarana with the goal kicking. Just two of their six tries have been converted. So 28 points to 14. Webster not playing today for Akarana. Kick six from seven. Most of them were four in front last week, though, against Bay of Plenty. So I'm sure we'll see Taha Webster back in the lineup next week. So just over 10 to play. Still time for Wakato to keep rolling their sleeves up. There's Smith again. That's a tough one. Stand out for Akarana as the captain. Here's Carlos Davis. Kind of just dropping off a couple of tackles so far in the set. Akarana getting a good roll on here, and that's some excellent play there from Takare Nielsen. Good train of this lad from Tiara too. And now Ratima Tanielu, who's looked very good in the second half. Rangy back rower. Here's Smith again. With a little pass from Takere Nielsen. Nice little option that time. Ali just grabbing it. 
And Sotelli is uh, just down and back play there. I wonder if he's just uh, marched a little late by one of those Wakato players. So referee O'Brien has just paused play for the moment. Good scrambling there from Lugali. He managed to pick it up in the end. A little bit of a nervous bubble, but. So, Riley Sotelli. Just uh, getting some attention here. okay to continue so Ali will resume play with that play the ball inside the last 10 minutes now Cowan is Salusi with the first carry got to be careful not to be driven back into his in goal here stuck pretty well in the end Fale away he goes from dummy half Mosa Ate. Complete the set, boys. Connolly. Come in. Comes to Sefo Palu. Try last week. In fact, that's Boynton again, rather, who's out on that right wing side. And the kick goes down to Omoroa. Or Gordon Omoroa for Akarana. Oh, here he goes. Here is Liasso. Got the second try. Akarana scored in the first half. Here's Wanatana. Threatening again. Left wing side. Baker, nice running onto the ball, and that's a simple drop pass, but could be some offside play here from Waikato. No, nah, I think, yeah, I, somebody was just in the way, and they took advantage of it. Ah, okay, there we go. So, referee O'Brien's ruled against Takarana there. He yeah, knew just, what was going on. Yeah, I saw a player sort of submit a little bit throughout that front of that line and just... Meant there, you know, it was Daniel Smith. It just meant that the, the opportunity afforded to Deliana was on the back of that advantage. It was Fale again. In fact, that was uh, for Sita, and this is Fale. Big defence there from Kare Nielsen. Now Paul again. One of the best in the Wakato team today. Played big minutes too, hasn't he? It's Connolly. And now Morgan. Connolly again. Oh, that's poor from him. He's dropped the ball stone cold, although referee says there was some errant positioning by those Akarana markers. Yeah, he actually reached in and knocked the ball out of Connolly's hands, but it obviously was... Yeah, I mean... It's fair game if he takes a step out of that sort of pocket, uh, but maybe but our referee, Liam O'Brien, probably thought it wasn't quite enough Mosaate, good little ball on here, and here goes for Sita. Oh, I think he's just short. Oh, it's just great to hold on to that ball, didn't he? So Waikato hunting here as Morgan has a crack. He's held up or taken just short of the line as well. Referee O'Brien having a good look, though. Slow play the ball here. Sadly, a walker. Nice pick up from Portman Paul. Here's Kaya Korohike, and this is looking good here. In the end, Connolly 
was taken. Nice readjustment there from the Akarana defenders. Sadly, a walker. Paul Paul might have a crack here and try and barge over. Get those legs pumping. Oh, I reckon he's got it down on the line. And yes, referee O'Brien says he has too. Terrific score there for Portman Paul. And if anyone deserves a four-pointer in this game, it's him. Yeah, he had to work really hard for it. He almost set it up to play before. Well, the big man is breathing a little bit now. He had to carry four players to the line with him, but just twisting and turning and having the strength to be able to get himself over the line. And yeah, well-deserved try for Portman Paul. He's blowing big time now at the moment. <laughs> This is a good bit of footy by Waikato on that set. I really like the the run by Missy Eli Fosita, who almost went close. He reached out for the line, just came a little bit short, but maintained position. Gave them an opportunity for this try for Portman Port. So Lucali, who converted the last try. And uh, Portman Port used to be a, a 5 8 in this game, but clearly now middle forward. But he's come through the Waikato and upper central system nicely over the last four to five years now and uh, still contributing really strongly to this team. So Luke Ali. With this conversion attempt. And he's nailed that one too. So 28 points to 20. Ali two from two in this game now. Karana getting a much bigger test perhaps in this game than they would have expected. So three minutes to play. I think the game's going to be safe for Akarana, but, you know, stranger things have happened. I mean, look, I think they can really hold their head up high. Waikoto. You know that They'll probably rue a couple of basic errors that might have cost them some opportunities throughout this game, but I think they could be pretty happy that they've yeah, managed to, to sort of put, put Akarana under some pressure and ask the defensive line some questions on the back of this man's efforts. And, you know, look, they've been... They're being competitive. Well, that's a 10 out of 10 performance from Port and Paul in this game. And let's see if Wakato can fire up one last time for Sita. He's had a good game on this left edge. Fale to Ali. So over the halfway line. I like, oh, look, Ali, he's, uh, he's come nicely into the game after being on the interchange last week. There's Fale. Yeah, he's put himself in the picture often. And a couple of defensive um, adjustments in that. When, when there's sort of line breaks. And well, there he is. An error there. Contesting for the ball now. Was that touched by Akarana and play there? Salusi. Salusi, leg drive again. Salusi, <laughs> you are joking. Jeremy Salusi. He's got olive oil on his legs. They couldn't grab him. It's 28 to 24. Yeah, he's another one who probably deserved to try as well. He's worked pretty hard every time he's carried the ball. He's been tough. No better example than this one. I tell you what, a couple of those kicks, a couple of those kicks cross over in that first half. Why could there be a hit here? That would have been an upset bloody of the tournament 100% well Salusi There's from that position one. there was never going to score it two check that out three fantastic just good balance really good he's uh he's giving me Matty Utah vibes <laughs> come back a few years now aren't you with Matty Utah oh Matty Utah was he was horrible to try and tackle yeah, there just the, that low, um, you know, sort of close to the ground, nuggety winger who ran like that in that fashion, just ducked his head and buried his way through. He was, it was a nightmare. 
A bit. It's a nightmare to try and take. So Luke Alley. Doesn't seem in any hurry to be taking this kick, does he? It feels like See if there's any time left after this conversion attempt. Chance for the win from the winter game, even if he misses this kick. There's still time to play. So 28 to 23, 24 rather, is the score. Oh, if Waikato to win this, somehow maybe score from the kickoff here. I'm picking Portland Paul for an 80 metre run away. Absolutely. Yeah. Fends off Ariki Honetana right on the line. <laughs> Maybe chips over his head and regathers again. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, Paul, let's go. Oh. Well, let's see. Michael, watch, watch Paulie. You're going to get three full players. Uh, only moments left in this contest. Hurry up, sir. Michael, look kicking look for distance. Connolly. Take some chances here. Look. Got nothing to lose. No, there's no difference between a four point loss and a ten point loss or an eight point loss. Still, still a loss. Slow play the ball. Cowan, Natali into the line. And now Fale. Here goes Micah Fale. Yeah, just still a long way Fale getting in his road there. Cowan looking to shift it again. Here goes the Hooter now. So this is the last play of the game as Connolly doubles around here. Morgan. And unfortunately, Morgan can't free the ball. Well, it's been an excellent game of NZRL's 20s in the Ruben Wicked Cup. But Akarana getting a huge scare over a team that looked off the pace last week. Big comeback by Wakato. Eugene Davis here, the coach, will be absolutely delighted with his response, or the response of his team. But sadly for Wakato, they just come up four points short. Akarana winning by 28 to 24. Six tries to four to five in fact in the game it was goal kicking came into the play too with uh, with a few missed opportunities but all in all I think both teams can walk away feeling happy with but still yeah, I mean, not I'm, satisfied yeah I'm sure yeah I mean, you're right both teams are probably feeling that way I'm sure Jeff uh, Morton will be sort of happy that he could get his boys the run that they needed and come away without any major injuries hopefully and you know well Eugene will be buoyed by that performance you know potentially the team will look at themselves and say well you know look we probably missed out an opportunity here if, if we kicked a couple of goals or maybe completed um, you know one or two more sets when we had the opportunity uh, then we potentially could have toppled, toppled these giants absolutely so Gordon Omaroa uh, with one try, Liasso with one try for Akarana. And Dan Smith got one as well. And the other three are all scored by the centre. Uh, Telianga. Uh, it's a great game for him getting a hat-trick. Waikato's try scored by Cowan, Fosita, Kaio Korohike, Paul and Salusi. Don't forget at 2 o'clock we've got game number 2 today. And that will feature... Counties Monaco up against Bay of Plenty. So uh, hopefully we'll get a replica of what we've just seen here in the second game too here at Pukukohi today. So let's get some after-match reaction now. And uh, I think first up we've got the Waikato captain with us. You guys played with a lot of heart out there today. How do you feel about the result? Uh, it's not the result we wanted, but um, our boys digged in deep and uh, we took it down to the, to the last minute and yeah, it was a good game. Um, 
Who stood up for you out there today? Um, from the opposition or your side? From your side. Um, I think our, our forwards, all of our forwards just dig deep. Not really too many subs. I've got a few injuries early, so our forwards dig deep. And yeah. Anything you'd like to say to your supporters? Um, just thanks for coming out, the ones that are here. And um, thanks for everyone back home in Waikato watching us. And yeah. Great stuff. All the best for next week. Thank you. Great stuff from Tia Cowan. Now let's hear from Daniel Smith, the Yakarana captain today. In fact, it is not Daniel Smith. We can just see him warming down there. Well, he is coming after uh, starting. He scored a try today, had another good game. Good wake-up call for Akarana, though, and their coach, Jeff Morton, isn't it? Yeah, indeed. Hey, man, look, they're going to come up against some pretty tough opposition in terms of the county side, you know, Wellington, even Southland. So, um, yeah, that was a yeah, real good wake-up call for, for them and, and knowing what they have to do. And I suppose knowing that they're going to have to be very relentless throughout this competition if they want to win. All right, let's go down to Dan Smith now. You guys had a huge result last week. How do you feel about today's performance? It's pretty uh, messy, eh, on the ruck. It's that right from the beginning. Um, it was pretty... Sh oh. <laughs> my bad, my bad. It's pretty bad, eh, pretty messy, but... Yeah, we need a lot to work on for next week. So, uh, who on your side stood up for you today? Um, it was probably, uh, well, probably none of us, to be honest. Um, it was both backs and forwards. It was kind of messy around that ruck. Especially around our edges, forcing passes. Just those fundamental stuff we didn't get through, but yeah, I'll say we've got a lot to work on. Yeah. Anything you'd like to say to your supporters? Oh, no, I just love you, Mum and Dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Uh, he'll, be, he'll be well looked after when he gets home tonight, eh? Yeah. Hope some super suey's on the, on the table. <laughs> Final score here. Akarana 28, Wakatomana 24, an excellent game of rugby league. We've got uh, game number two coming up in 25 minutes. We hope you can stay with us because here at Pukukohe, we're going to have the next game coming up at 2 o'clock between Bay of Plenty and Counties Monaco. That's coming up in 25 minutes.